Good morning, Sheila. How are you? Great. So are you a little bit country, you think? Am I what? Are you a little bit country? <laughs> a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about your country background. What, uh, what was sort of your influences? Um, well, I've always kind of listened to country music. I loved, of course, Dolly Parton. Um, but when I performed with Brooks and Dunn many years ago, um, I had so much fun and it, it was just something that was inspiring to me. I've always wanted to write a country song and th I thought that this was a great opportunity. JR had a, I'm, I'm a fan of JR, John Rich. Uh, so I thought that this was a great opportunity for me to, to do so. Now, when you're writing an ensemble song with other contestants as you do in, in Gone Country, who did you gel with? Who did you butt heads with? Well, we each individually had to write our own country song, and then JR said as a twist, I would love for you all to write together one song. Um, so we individually wrote a song. To, to write the song together as a group was challenging because you have seven people with seven ideas, and uh, it got a little strange at times, but um, I got along with, of course, George Clinton, because I've known him for a long time. Uh, Uncle George and uh, Justin from uh, American Idol. We had a great time. I really gelled who, with Justin. Who surprised you the most on the show with their knowledge of country music, would you say? Uh, George Clinton. He knew a lot about country music. I didn't know he was such a great country fan and uh, um, it was pretty interesting. I had no idea uh, um, the, the people that he was inspired by. Now, you lived in Nashville for two weeks, so tell me about your accommodations. What were they like? <laughs> Very interesting to live in a house. It was a, well, a huge house. It was a mansion, uh, a huge mansion. And uh, we, I had to share a room with Tara Connor and uh, Taylor Dane, so that was pretty interesting because I figured we would have to all kind of share. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew I wasn't going to get my own room. And uh, there were sections in the house that we couldn't go to, but it was uh, challenging for many reasons. One is we were cut off basically from the world, it seemed like. No internet, no computers, no uh, telephones. There was one phone that was for the entire house. No, uh, yeah, and that was pretty much it. Uh, no communication with newspaper, anything. So uh, by the time we were filming all day, all we wanted to do was go to sleep anyway. And living with two women, I'm sure the bathroom was a challenge as well. <laughs> it was mad. <laughs> yes, I ended up I ended up choosing to uh, most of the time put my makeup on and get dressed in the in the closet because there was no room. So uh, and then I f and then I found another bathroom outside of the bedroom, and that's where I would go. I would sneak off to another bathroom. That is too funny in the <laughs> closet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could you ever see yourself sort of settling in Nashville? Did you sort of fall in love with the place? I love Nashville. I love it so much. I love the people there. Uh, many years ago, I really considered moving there. Um, and I oh, do yeah. have, yeah, I do have some friends there. So um, I had such a great time. I want to go back. I can't wait to go back. I'd like to write some more. And uh, because I had such a great experience, my, my writers were Angie Apparel and uh, James Slater. And it really, there are so many great writers. I, I can't wait to go back. And the men there are very cute. <laughs> I, might be, I might be going country, ah, huh? see? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You'll All right, have a great thank day. you, Robin. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.